Brooks Robinson was an 18-year-old kid when he arrived from Little Rock, Arkansas to Baltimore in 1955. I want to thank you for getting us through the news, getting me through the news, because this has been a very hard day. You know, since then, back in 1955, one story after another about how great a ball player, but even how great a man he was. Our hero, who wore gold gloves and a crooked smile and a crown gas billboard, has died. The man who leaped into Dave McNally's arms in 66 and was clutched by Cuellar in 1970. 50 years, and if you make a great defensive play, it's a Brooks play, the highest compliment. He was called the human vacuum cleaner, and every time we went to Memorial Stadium, he always came through. Great two pitch. The pitch is hit high and deep to left field. The game is over. Brooks Robinson with a three-run homer. Off the field, into the hall, into the broadcast booth. He would work alongside a Charlie and Scotty, as he called them. He never turned down a kid wanting a signature or a picture. Well, those kids now have grandkids, and they have Brooks baseballs on the shelf. So take your picture, your baseballs, your bats, and your memories. And thanks to Brooks, David, Chris, Michael and Diana for sharing their dad with us. Brooks always said, we aren't fans, we're friends. There is crying in baseball. And to you friends out there, you have always been so good to me. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you.